Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a written letter from the President of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Abdelaziz Bouteflika, regarding the brotherly relations between the two countries and the latest regional and international developments, as well as issues of common interest. The Algerian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdel Qaeda Misahel, handed the letter to His Majesty in a reception ceremony held at Asafriya Palace today. The Minister conveyed the greetings of the Algerian President and his wishes of progress and prosperity to Bahrain, the Kingdom and its people. In return, His Majesty the King asked the Minister to convey his greetings to the Algerian President and his wishes of development and progress to Algeria and its people. His Majesty the King welcomed the Algerian Foreign Minister, affirming the depth of the Bahraini Algerian relations and the development they witness in various fields. His Majesty also noted the keenness to strengthen these relations and to develop them for the benefit of both countries and peoples. His Majesty affirmed the importance of exchanging such visits and for the role in strengthening cooperation and consultation between the two countries. His Majesty the King named the role of Algeria led by President Abdelaziz Bouteflika in defending the Arab nation's issues and its keenness to pr promote solidarity. His Majesty the Minister also discussed the latest regional and international developments. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the United States Special Envoy, retired General Anthony Sini, and Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Arabian Gulf Affairs in the Near East Bureau, Timothy Lenderking, and their accompanying delegation on the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom as part of the tour of a number of the region's states. His Majesty reviewed with the American envoys the historical fraternal relations between Bahrain and the US as well as the means of bolstering these relations. He expressed pride in the bilateral cooperation between the two friendly countries and discussed with the envoys the latest regional and international developments, as well as the issues co of common concern. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from the Southern Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in which he took pride in the royal confidence vested in him to participate in the national development process, foreign loyalty to the wise leadership and to work with dedication and sincerity to serve the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa held his weekly majlis today at Rifa Palace. Members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of the municipal councils, relig religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors to the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to the deep-rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty the King's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasised the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at Al Wadi Palace the children of Mutak Al Matawa, who represented the Hi His Highness with a painting depicting the Kingdom's support to people with disabilities. Sheikh Khalid expressed his admiration for the artwork which was created using recycled caps of soft drink cans and mineral water bottles. His Highness praised the efforts and creativity of the people of Bahrain which reflect their abilities and talents. Sheikh Khalid wished the pe people of the Kingdom further progress and success in serving their country. For his part, Al Matawa expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khalid affirming that Bahrain has taken many steps to support people with disabilities. He also hailed the efforts of Sheikh Khalid in this field to help empower and develop the skills of people with disabilities. Hassam Mithlak al Matawa, who was taking part in the Royal Navy Summer Programme, delivered a speech on behalf of his siblings, where he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness. He said the idea of the artwork stemmed from the love for the Kingdom and the leadership and to showcase their support to the brothers and sisters with disabilities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, met today at his office the United States Special Envoy, retired General Anthony Zini. Deputy Assistant Secretary of the State for Arabian Gulf Affairs in the Near East Bureau, Timothy Lender King, and their accompanying delegation on their occasion of the visit to the Kingdom as part of the tour of a number of the region's states to discuss the Qatari crisis. Sheikh Khalid welcomed the American envoys, expressing pride in the visit to the Kingdom, which reflects the strategic alliance and the development of historic relations between the two countries in all fields. The visit also affirms the keenness of the two countries to further continue joint coordination on various issues. The Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the cooperation between the Gulf States and the United States, as well as the United States' efforts to combat terrorism and maintain regional safety and security. He reiterated the Kingdom's support of the US's efforts based on commitment to the people of the region and to confronting the dangers that threaten and prevent pre present dangers to the future, and the forefront of which is terrorism, which called for a strong and concerted effort to ensure its eradication. For his part, retired General Zini expressed pleasure in meeting with the Minister. He also hailed the strong friendship between the US and Bahrain and affirmed the importance of cooperation and joint action to maintain the region's security. Zini praised the efforts of the, of the Kingdom to contribute to this goal, which we contribute to maintaining international peace and security. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, also met today at his office with the Algerian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Abdel Qaeda Mashalhel. The Minister of Foreign Affairs named the strong brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, commending the development of these relations in various fields. The Minister also reviewed with his Af Algerian counterpart ways to enhance the cooperation and coordination between the two countries in all sectors. For his part, the Algerian Foreign Minister affirmed the keenness of Algeria to strengthen ties with Bahrain and develop joint action in all fields to achieve the interests of the two friendly peoples. The meeting also discussed the coordination of the latest developments in the Arab world and ways to counter terrorism, its supporters and funders. Labour and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Mohammed al Humaydin opened today a new employment and training centre in Jafar. The move is in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, 
to identify the needs of citizens across the kingdom's villages and towns and to meet them. The opening of the new facility within the framework of the government's interest in delivering the best services for job seekers. The intake capacity of the new centre is 1,500 visitors per month and will deliver comprehensive services in the fields of employment, rehabilitation, professional guidance and counselling, as well as insurance against unemployment. It also provides consultations for job seekers, as well as training opportunities for them in coordination with the Labour Fund, Tamkeen. The Civil Aviation Affairs at the Ministry of Transport and Telecommunications in its statement affirmed that what had been published about Bahrain opening its airspace to Qatar Airways is incorrect and contrary to reality. It says that the Kingdom's airspace restricts aircrafts registered in Qatar and that air passages over the sea are open to all types of air navigation from June the 11th and has not undergone any change. The statement also said that the Civil Aviation Affairs has implemented all actions taken in coordination and cooperation with the International Civil Aviation Organisation in Cairo in order to enhance air safety over international waters, which include providing additional emergency lanes above the sea in Bahrain's region, which is a procedure taken by the Kingdom to ensure the safety of air traffic over international waters that was commissioned by the ICAO and does not mean that Bahrain has allowed the passage of Qatari carriers over its southern airspace.